So what up guys, this is Knowledge coming with a Halo 5 reveal trailer breakdown. I'm really excited about this game. Anybody who subscribes to the Geo Playground knows that I love Halo. I love the look of this so far. It's like a kind of a Star Wars S type of aesthetic. It has kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi type of feel to it. Where it has he has a hood and it looks like a he looks like a Jedi almost. Keep in mind, I think an important thing is that since this is an E3 trailer, people, part of it is a mystery. We didn't know it was Halo. We may, you might have thought it was Halo, but we didn't really know that it was Halo until his hood is blown back. I think 343 Industries might be trying to set the tone for the next game. I mean, some, you never know with these reveal trailers. A lot of times, I mean, this is just a teaser, really. So he's, this is not really what's going to be in the game, but I think it might be setting that tone for that, that hero's journey type of story where it's a really self introspective game and that that's how Halo 4 was a lot more about Master Chief than than any of the other games so it makes sense that this one would be even more of, of a more personal story and I think this whole setting kind of sets that up this big thing starts to come out the ground and we have no idea what it is is it Promethean it's not human that's for sure it's not Covenant it just has to be Forerunner maybe even Precursor it looks bird-like. It's it's strange. We haven't really seen anything like that in the Halo universe before. And to me, this is the most important part of the teasers when he pulls out Cortana's chip. Now, a lot of people have been saying that she's dead. There's no way she's coming back. She's an AI and all that. But I just cannot imagine a Halo game without Cortana. And I can't see 343 Industries or Microsoft or Bungie had put so much time into this Cortana character and, and her love of Master Chief and their, their kind of weird little ro romance that they're having and for them to just kill her off she has to come back some way or another and the, I think it's interesting too that he has it chained because it kind of gives his personal feeling to it this kind of this memento thing that people do when they, they put a chain around something that's very important to them Master Chief I knew it so happy when that happened Look right here, right above the clouds. If you look above the ALO, it looks like there's a five forming in the clouds. I don't know if that's significant. That might have just be maybe I'm just making more out of it than anything. But it is interesting that they're only calling it Halo. I think that might be just a little shout out to that this is a continuation of the Halo Four story, which would make a lot of sense. I think either way is gonna be that, but. Maybe that's just a little little Easter egg they threw in there. Maybe it was just a random generation of clouds that happened to form a five. Who knows? Now here's my little theory about what's going on in this teaser. Is if you remember in, in Spartan Ops, at the end of the story, the Librarian gives Dr. Halsey the Janus Key, which when you put those two pieces together, it'll show her every piece of Forerunner artifact technology across the galaxy. This is the Janus Key. It offers the real-time location of every piece of Forerunner technology in the galaxy. Every piece? We did not create so much without a means to catalog it all. Right, and if you remember in the Halo 4 story, in the main story, the Librarian says that there is a technology that they had made to try to convert the the Prometheans back to humans but that it only created monstrosities and that it was they created abominations I think she said the composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms it would have made us immortal but its results soured the stored personalities fragmented and our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. But that doesn't mean that maybe that technology can't be perfected by someone like Dr. Halsey, who's brilliant. So maybe this thing that he's looking for is going to lead him to the technology that can be able to bring Cortana back as an AI and maybe even convert her to a, maybe even create her into a human sentient life form. I don't know. That Maybe that's too far off, but... I mean, at least that's my hope as a Halo fan. Is at the end, at the, at the end of the trilogy, you want to see Master Chief and Cortana together. Period. Hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown, and um, I really be interested to see all your ideas. Leave it in the comments. What do you guys think is going on? 
uh, in this to little to teaser. And I can't wait for Halo 5. Got an escape plan? Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Mix things up a little. Just keep your head down. There's two of us in here now, remember? <laughs>